United Nations has described disaster as a serious disruption of the functioning of society due to hazardous events interacting with conditions of exposure leading to human material, economic and environmental losses and impact. This is the reason scholars from all walks of life converge for a one-day summit get a finding lasting solution to climate crisis. The keynote speaker, Jamie Badmos, in his remarks said the summit offers a unique opportunity for the nation to come back together to reaffirm a shared commitment to effectively address climate challenges. We need to be more proactive than being reactive. We are so, so reactive that when there's flooding, we make so much noise. When there are issues, we make so much noise. This flooding alone can take away your farmland. Why not do things that prevent it from happening to you? Why not government doing things? We're going to say people. I mean me and you. I mean government. I mean NGOs. I mean every one of us that are living, then we need to come together and add value to this world, to make this world a better place. And Nigeria is not an exception. We need to do it well. The Director General ECRMI, Chuks Akawo, said to effectively address the challenges of climate change and ensure environmental stability, both the public and private have a role to play. It's a platform for us to analyze, to discuss The outcomes of COP26 and COP27 that just ended in Egypt, how it can affect business, uh, corporate institutions, and organized private sectors. This program is more of advocacy, and we cannot do it alone. What we are saying is let everybody be involved. Other stakeholders present at a summit share their opinion on best approaches to curbing disaster and climate challenges in the nation. What we are all to do is those little basic things that they keep saying. Even the little debts in our homes, how we dispose of them, contribute to this. Uh, we keep hearing plant trees, uh, beautify your places. All those little, little, little things have a way, have an effect in creating an environment that enhances a healthy climate. It's about uh, climate change and the need for all the stakeholders to come together has been put in place by the organizers to see what we can do to at least make an input in having a better understanding of the damage climate change has done in this country and how we can ameliorate it. So the six assessment reports of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change it shows that most of the climate change impacts are, are, are caused by humans. So people need to do more and be informed, to take informed decisions. We need to change their ways. As the event came to close, awards were presented to distinguished personalities as the organizers advised on advancing innovative mitigation and adaptative actions for climate change in Nigeria. Amarachi Amushi.